Hey everybody, thanks for joining me tonight. I have this week's dash manning to put on and if you are not familiar with Red Aspen, Red Aspen is a nail dash kit that comes like this in a cute little box. This is Snowflakes for Addie that I'm going to put on today and it comes with 24 sizes and all of these can be trimmed and filed to fit your length that you want and the size that you need. There's two of each um, and I've gone ahead and already um, filed my nails, um, buffed them and wiped them with an alcohol wipe here, ready to go and sorted my sizes. So I'm ready to start. One of the best things about the Red Aspen Manny is it looks just like, I'm gonna use my brush on nail dash glue today. It looks just like a Salon Manny, but it doesn't cost as much and it doesn't take as much time. So if you watch today's video, you'll note that it only will take a little less than 15 minutes. Now what I do is I put uh, glue on my nail and I put it on the inside of the dash and then I put it on my nail at a 45 degree angle and I hold it down and rub from side to side. My nails and my hands look really dry because I have avoided lotion today so that I can put the nails on without um, having any interference because oil in the lotion will interfere with the adhesive of the nail dash. Now, some people may love this length. I am not a fan, so I'll be trimming those in a little bit, and I'll show you how I do those. Now, one of the things that is great about these nail dashes is that they have a size. Let's see if you can see this on the inside. Mm, can you see it? number number one okay and uh, that helps with the sizing so you can always look that way as well so here we go we're gonna start I'm gonna start on my pinkies and I put some on my finger then I put some on the dash now the dash is graduated at the um, place where the, the dash meets the cuticle and it is thinner than the tip so that it looks just like a salon mani. I'm going to wipe this a little bit. I always keep my alcohol wipe close because I can get some of the extra glue that comes that I get on there. So just about 30 seconds, roll it, it's good to go. And I push it right up next to my cuticle. So there's no gaps and there's no extra space there. And what's interesting is you can see when my nails grow out and I still have my dashes on. Oh, I don't mean to keep bumping the camera. See, I'm putting glue on the inside of the dash and then I'm gonna flip it over Put it on my nail, 45 degree angle, then I'm gonna hold it down and roll. Goal with the rolling is to get the air bubbles out. Wipe off some of that glue. Because you know, it's always a rite of passage when you glue your fingers together when you do these the first time. Um, note that the, the package comes with a small glue um, applicator. Um, but the brush on glue is really, it's additional, but it's a life saver. It's amazing how much it changes um, the application and um, just everything in general. It's amazing. And I think it makes the dashes last on your nails a lot longer. So one of the things that I do is... I trim my dashes. I don't like them as long as as most. I'm hard on my hands. I'm a teacher. I don't like long nails. 
um, cause I'm always washing my hands and using hand sanitizer. And, um, I just feel, I don't know. I like them short, short nails can have fun too. So I'll show you, uh, trimming in a minute here. Um, I have in other videos used my long trimmer. Oh, see, I had too much nail glue there. Um, in my other videos, I've shown my long nail trimmers. I'm going to use just a regular clippers today. So you can see how I do it that way. Oh my goodness. So, um, and the nail dashes, a lot of people don't want to, but you can, you can save them and reuse them, which is awesome. Um, one of the things that I do is once I take them off and really they look the same as when I put them on, to be honest with you, there's no change unless I, I snap one or break one for some goofy reason. Um, they're all pretty much the same. They don't really, well, they don't chip unless you really slam them with something. And, um, you know, I haven't had any split or crack, so I can save them and um, wash them again and reuse them. So when you take them off, you use cuticle oil to take them off. And then um, when I am ready to reuse them, I put it in a solution of um, olive oil, um, dish soap, and hot, hot water, and let them soak for about an hour or so. And um, it is really, oops, I'm having trouble here. I always have trouble with the thumb turning it around. And it's really um, helpful. The, the oil um, releases the adhesive um, anyway. That's how you get them off in the first place. So um, one of the things that's really great is that it will then um, take the adhesive off the dash and I can reuse them. So sometimes you have to do a little more buffing if there's a lot of adhesive on there. It's not bad. That one is not really wanting to sit on there today for whatever reason. All right, next. Do pinky. So I am loving my red aspen dashes because they're cheaper than a salon mani, but they look like a salon mani. I should be holding this one. It's a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is the joy. Oh, well, such is life. You get to see real life, right? But real short nails have more fun. So I'm going to share the short nails here. There we go. Wipe it. There we go. Rock from side to side. Get rid of the air bubbles. There we go. Much better. All right, trouble. Let's get this one on here. It's just not helping today. Now I think this was it. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I got out of order on my towel here. That's all right. Uh, put the glue on my dash. Obviously I'm not using the whole dash. I'm going to be trimming. So I'm not putting, oh jeez. Isn't that great? This is real life, guys. Um, I'm not going to be putting glue all the way under. Oh, for the love. Under the dash. Because I'm going to be trimming it. So why would I waste the glue? And then it ends up sticking to the underside of my nail and makes a big mess. There we go. So these are snowflakes for Addie. They have these really cute, really cute white snowflakes on them. And what's interesting is they don't all have the same pattern. So I was thinking about doing a Manny mix up with this 
And then I kind of looked at him and I was like, oh, not so bad. It's got quite a cute little pattern going. I don't know if you can see this. Can you see as it's sitting here that it's got a thinner, it's thinner at the tip than it is at the, at the, or thinner at the base than it is at the tip. All right, let's see if we're going to get this done. I'm gonna work harder at these shadows next time. I apologize. I gotta do better with my lighting, don't I? <laughs> learning as I go, guys, learning as I go. So I'm running on 10 minutes. I have one more nail to put on. So that's a Manny in less than 15 minutes. And I'm gonna trim it. I'll show you how I trim it with just a regular nail clippers. But some people can wear them long. We've got lots of different lengths. We even have a petite size nail. If you have tweens or 10 year olds at your house who like to do their nails, or if your nail beds are just really petite. Close with glue. I have yet to knock on wood, knock that sucker over. All right, so here's here's snowflakes for Addy. Really pretty. Really pretty, Manny. Nice, nice length. I mean, they're not that bad. But for me, they're too long. But that's okay. So here's what I do. I go for the clippers. Now, they really do have the same color all the way through. So I just clip halfway on one side. Sorry, I'm going to hit the and halfway on the other, and then it's done. It's really simple, it works, it doesn't crack it, and it works. Now I might file it a little bit to get a finished look. But you can do this, you don't need to buy another nail clipper like it like I bought which I love I probably could have used it on this one but that's okay now notice how I got that on a little crooked because mm, I wasn't paying attention but the good news is I can take it off and move it if I really want to or pretend <laughs> that it's fine well let's see almost there then I'll just file that off a little bit. Oh, for the love. There we go. There we go. I'll file that in a minute. But it's not that big of a deal to trim if that's what you need. So don't feel like, you know, you're not ruining a six... $60 Manny at the salon. And what I love is I can mix and match colors and patterns. And they really, they don't get any chips. Um, they don't rub, the color doesn't rub off. You know, when you wear polish, a lot of the times your color can rub off on paper, it can rub off on your things. Um, this definitely doesn't happen this way. So, very exciting. So I'm almost done, and I'm going to then I'm going to then um, file the edges, and then we're good to go. So snowflakes for Addy, and here we go. And I file straight across. I usually file the corners, but
but it doesn't change the color. If you can tell, it doesn't change the color of the dash at all. It just files what I need it to file. So it's all good to go. Snowflakes for Addy, another winter nanny. Ready to roll. And I would appreciate if you have any questions to reach out to me. Um, there's a shopping link in the description. Um, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe would be awesome. Um, hopefully my videos will get better and better <laughs> as I learn how to use this technology and try not to knock over the camera. But see, it's just really, they're so easy to file. And I can get the shape I want. These were a little wider than anticipated, but that's okay. But really, it's all about what, you know, what works for you. And there's so many choices. And there's different lengths, different colors, different patterns. If you want to be neutral, if you want to be out of this world, you can do any of that. And you really can't mess these up, short of gluing your fingers together. <laughs> but that's all right. You know, you only do it once or twice. It's really no big deal. So there we have it. Snowflakes for Addie. A Manny for $15 in less than 15 minutes. And good to go. Thanks for joining me tonight. Reach out if you have any questions and please give me a like and a subscribe. Thanks. See you later.